Hello, this is Professor Shapiro, known on the internet as Harry Hawk, and I've just searched for the Google Merchandise Store on Google, of course, and this may make some sense. This is a course, BUS 134, we're talking about e-commerce, and so clearly I'm going to want to look with you, my students, at a store. And, you know, once we make that search, there's an ad that's going to come up here. If I click on that, they will have to pay for that click. It's obviously Google paying Google, but, you know, and you click on an ad, and someone's going to have to pay for that. And you can see that I've, um, I've visited it two times. And it's interesting that it's telling me here, but it doesn't tell me elsewhere. Now, this is their organic natural search engine result. It tells me what it is. There, It's the company's official shop. And it's giving me some top categories. And I can see more results. And um, then there are other links about or related to this. We can see more results. So this is all of the links that they have. But, uh, well, let's just go in. Let's click on the top link. We have to tell them where we are. takes it a minute to then welcome us to the store. And so here we are. Uh, stickers, flashlights, and we can see uh, the URL here is, is a little bit strange. Google plus redesign. Um, so they must have redesigned this at some point. We can shop by brand. We can shop by for Nest products and electronics. We can get a water resistant Bluetooth speaker, um, earbud it's with a small zipper case, car clip, phone holder, selfie stick, of course. Ooh, you can buy it right away. There's a power bank. And uh, it's interesting. They don't really tell me much about it. Here's a microcharger. Bluetooth speaker again. More chargers. Here's a phone sanitizer. Kills germs on your phone while it charges. Also cleans your keys, credit cards, and jewelry. Now that may be worth it. And um, again, we can search for all kinds of uh, accessories and bottle openers, lunch kits, luggage tags, and, of course, uh, Nest products. This is their smoke alarm. They have uh, indoor and outdoor security cameras. And they have, uh, of course, their famous learning thermometers. Or thermostats, I should say. And um, so we have the smoke alarms and that's really it for the store. We can see that the site is well designed. So as I scroll across the top, I can click on what I want. So if I'm interested in YouTube, 
I can get a YouTube hat or a YouTube water bottle, a, a T-shirt, and so forth. If I click on that, I do have the option to choose the size. I could add it to the cart. And so in, in looking at all of this, you may wonder, what does it look like from Google's perspective? Obviously, there, somewhere, if I actually went and ordered this, at a certain point, someone would have to go stick this in an envelope and mail it to me. But I have uh, Google Analytics running right now. There are 18 users on the site, which includes me. And um, it should show up, I should be showing up within this group that has entered checkout. If I click on checkout, Um, of course, no guarantee that it, that it will, um, but there are um, now 19 users on the site, and it may not have um, considered that I am actually in checkout, but um, I can try signing in. Seems a very complicated way to check out. And notice that I'm, even though I logged in, it didn't allow me to continue uh, to the checkout. So we could argue that that is a poorly designed system. And here I am now having entered checkout. By the way, here's a registration process. So I had entered registration and then entered checkout. Someone else was going through that as well. Um, and I'm on your info. So that's me. And We can see just how many people are on that particular page right now. Well, there's a lot more information that we can see and a lot more data that's here within Google Analytics related to this particular store. Um, and I'm going to just take a quick look here at conversions. Now, this is, this is the actual sales um, for this time period. And there's a huge spike in October. And when we were looking through Google, one of the things that we saw was that's when they made it, this store available to the public. So there was a big spike in influence. And we'll click here to see the full report. And for this time period, we can see all of the different revenue by product. It's only listing the top 10. Again, if I click for the full report, it will list it now. Um, but there's 3 million 
Somehow I clicked on the wrong button there. Let's try that again. No, it's not going to give me everything. Um, we can click on product category. Okay, so we can see by category, again, 3.2 million in sales for the time period that we have here. And um, cart to detail rate, buy to detail rate, unique purchases divided by the views of product details, cart to details. Um, so when indicating what percentage of people buy if they actually look for those details, which, you know, we saw when we were back here that they're actually tracking when somebody does this to look at the details. These are refunds, so I guess they're, they're not doing a lot of refunds. Um, average price. And uh, these are the unique purchases. So two, 3.2 million in sales, 65, almost 66,000 in unique sales. And we can break this down in many other ways. Um, we can add um, information about time or date. We could add information about currency or customer behavior like where they entered or exited, or um, we could get information about what kind of browser they have or so forth. Uh, I will put in, see if we can put in city information. And now th this will make a much larger report. Obviously there's many cities in the world, um, but we can start to see in a moment, um, these are just the top cities. And again, it's just showing us the top 50. Top 10, I'll make it top 50. Um, but you can see Mountain View, which is where uh, they're located, has a tremendous amount of sales and all around the uh, Silicon Valley area. Here's more Mountain View um, and so forth. So here's New York. And we can see in this view by product and city. So Nest, Mountain View. Nest Canada, Toronto, and so forth. And um, anyway, this has been a very quick overview of Google's merchandise store, what it means to look at the store, from the search engine perspective, a quick tour of the store itself. And then a look at the analytics. So th this is product checkouts here. And some of them were not set by category. And these are the top 10. Again, we could add more and see more product categories. Well, I hope everybody has a great week. This has been Professor Shapiro, known on the internet as Harry Hawk. I hope everybody has a fantastic week.